Um, our next segment is sponsored by Gateway Bank. They have been working successfully for more than 10 years to earn the opportunity to do business with you. Uh, please welcome to the stage representing the up upcoming Golden Rule Awards Banquet on April 12th at the Mesa Convention Center, none other than the aforementioned mayor of Mesa, Arizona. Please welcome Mr. John Giles. Good to have you here, sir. Good to be back. Good to have you back. It's great to be here. Thank well, you. it's good to be here, and it's good to see you on that side of the desk. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming to work today. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, I, we, we know you're a busy guy. So. Well, I sometimes, I always try and be here, but sometimes, you know, I got, I know. I got Life big, big things happening. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I get well, it. It's good to see you, and you're, and you're moving good. You, last time I saw you, you had a little, uh, you had a little problem with your wheel. Well, yeah, don't get old. I, I, I tore an Achilles a while back, so I limp, I'm still limping a little bit, but I'm doing good. I'm well, that's good. awesome. Um, welcome and tell us about what you're, uh, what you're working with. Thanks. I am here uh, having nothing to do with being the mayor of Mesa. I, I have uh, I've been very honored and privileged over the last uh, almost 14 years to be a member of the Arizona Interfaith Movement. And there's a great event coming up. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that we can host it here in Mesa called the Golden Rule Banquet. Uh, I've been going to these since 2003. This is uh, literally the best event uh, of the year that, that I uh, normally attend. Uh, the Arizona Interfaith Movement is a great organization. It's been around since 1995, uh, brought together by some, some great folks who wanted to build bridges between the various uh, faith communities in uh, not just our city, but throughout the state. Uh, and to celebrate the, the idea, what, 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 one of the unifying theologies if you see in all religions is the golden rule, this concept that we need to respect other people and that we want to be treated the same way that we want to treat other people. So around that theme, they have this, this banquet every year, and they give out a, a small number of awards to really amazing people that exemplify the golden rule. Uh, over the past years, there's been some wonderful recipients, Kirk Warner, Larry Fitzgerald, uh, uh, people, household names, people that are celebrities, but that's not why get, they, they, they get the award. It's because they use their celebrity and their passion as a, as a vehicle to serve other people and to exemplify the golden rule. So uh, this year on the 12th of April, again, we're gonna have this banquet in Mesa where there's some wonderful awardees. Uh, Muhammad Ali will be receiving the award posthumously, obvious, obviously, but uh, other great awardees. Uh, Pastor Magdalena Schwartz is in, uh, is in the audience today. She's a great example of the golden rule. She pastors a Spanish-speaking congregation uh, in town, but she has a passion for bridging the, the gap between the law enforcement community and the Spanish-speaking immigrant community. Uh, that, and that is, there's really, you can't think of a, a more important issue in our community. We have uh, a lot of folks in our city that fall into that category and they make great crime victims. Uh, and we need to work hard to improve the relationship between uh, police and, and that segment of our society. So she's a very, she's a great example of the type of people that will be honored at the Golden Rule Banquet on the 14th of April. 14th of April, I'm looking at the board here. And it, now, can anybody attend the banquet? Ab absolutely. 12th. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the 12th of April, Thursday, the 12th of April. If uh, it's successful, they're gonna do it again on the 14th. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be great. Uh, I'm trying to cover for you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, anyone can come. But now, we normally reach the capacity of, of, the, of the, uh, the convention center. About 800 to 1,000 people come. But that's partly because we've been doing this for the last uh, 10 or 14 years. And when you go to one of these, you're going to want to put it on your calendar every year because it's a very inspiring, uplifting event. You go and you, you walk away feeling better about being a human being than, than when, you, when, when the day started. That's awesome. Now, I know um, I, I've been told you're going to give away a couple of passes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have a couple of tickets that we will be... Uh, giving away today, and uh, so if you're not one of the lucky people that gets a free ticket today, then, then please uh, go online to the Arizona Interfaith Movement or, or come on the 12th and we'll squeeze you into the event. Cool, I think we're gonna do this with a drawing. I'm gonna let you draw. Oh, okay, great. Because I don't wanna be responsible for everybody that came in here and dropped a card in, so reach in and okay. pull out Thank you. however many you wanna give away. All right, I think we're giving away a couple. Okay. Two. John Parrish. Wow. Hey. There's John. John. John's got it. Thank you all. Perfect. Put that back in. Now, John can win again now. 
We'll get that to you afterwards. Now, John won the free tickets, but you can all win by going and supporting a great cause. And, and ultimately, the winners are um, just all the, all the people that benefit from the Golden Rule yeah, Banquet. Absolutely. The, the banquet is something I promise. If you go, uh, you'll feel good about going and you'll go every year. But also, being more in, if you want to just be involved in the Arizona Interfaith Movement as a member as well, your congregation or, or individually, it's a great organization to be a part of year-round. There's events like this. Uh, that bring people from different faith traditions together to kind of celebrate what we have in common. That's awesome. Well, thanks for supporting that, and thanks for being a great mayor. You're doing a, you. you're doing a super good job. Thank you. You're kind. Uh, yeah. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause, Mr. Mayor John Giles. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, John. Good seeing you. Okay.